This morning, we're learning more about the deaths of two employees at a Texas hospital, including a maternity nurse allegedly killed by a parolee visiting the hospital for the birth of his child. Authorities say 30-year-old Nestor Hernandez was released last October from prison for aggravated robbery and was on parole with an ankle monitor. He was allowed to be at Methodist Dallas Medical Center Saturday to be with his girlfriend who had just given birth to their baby the day before. According to a warrant, while Hernandez was with his girlfriend and the baby, he accused her of cheating. He then began acting strangely, pulled out a gun, hit her multiple times in the head with it, and contacted his family, saying, whoever comes into this room is going to die with us. It was then that an employee came in and was shot. Another employee in the hall heard the shot, came in, and was also killed. A hospital police officer was able to shoot Hernandez in the leg. Workers and patients were frantic. My dad was calling. He said, um, get back in your car and get as far away from the hospital as you can. Yelling and screaming and crying, I was asking her to calm down what's going on, and she told me that there is an active, active shooter on their floor. Police tell our Dallas affiliate WFAA at least one of the victims was a nurse. Some hospital nurses now worried for their safety. The hospital saying out of an abundance of caution, police force staffing has been increased. The alleged shooter, Nestor Hernandez, will be charged with capital murder. Fellow nurses say the nurse who was killed was a grandmother at retirement age and described her as someone who would always take charge. Andrea Fuji, ABC News, New York.